Welcome to our online service at City Road Methodist Church. Last week, Reverend AJ spoke about the need to become disciples of Jesus. Today, we will build on that idea. We're thinking about God as the gardener, and we are his soil. We need to grow as disciples to the point where we will bear fruit. Claire will now lead us in a prayer of adoration. Our prayers of adoration. Holy God, to you alone belong glory, honour and praise. We join with the hosts of heaven as we worship. You alone are worthy of adoration from every mouth, and every tongue shall sing your praise. You create the earth by your power. You save the human race in your mercy, and renew it through your grace. To you, loving God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be all glory, honour, and praise, now and forever. Amen. And Mark, with a prayer of confession. Prayer of confession. Father God, you created human beings to be perfect in your image. We strive for perfection but all too often that goal seems unreachable. We live in a broken world, a world of so many conflicting interests, a world full of temptation. We acknowledge that we are ourselves broken like the world we live in, the world which human beings have been damaging for many years in so many ways. We struggle to put things right, and yet so often we ignore the voices of reason the voices telling us what we should be doing to put things right. We see injustice, greed, hate, and a lack of respect for the planet, a lack of respect for our fellow human beings. Too often, we shrug our shoulders and convince ourselves that we can do nothing about the wrong in the world. Forgive us, Father God, and help us to be better human beings. Help us to be more like our Lord Jesus, who came into the world to save sinners like us. In the name of our Lord, who was tempted like us, but did not succumb, we offer our prayer for forgiveness and ask for the courage and strength to overcome the darkness in our lives and in the world. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. And Olwyn, with a prayer of thanksgiving. A prayer of thanksgiving. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you've done for us. We thank you for the splendour of the whole creation, for the wonder of life and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for our successes, which satisfy and delight us, but also for the disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life. We thank you for his dying, through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Father, may we, at all times and in all places, give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Mark and Alwyn will read from the Psalms, about the importance of offering praise to God, even in a time of difficulty. Psalm 119, verses 105 to 112. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed it to observe your righteous ordinances. I am severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my offerings of praise, O Lord, and teach me your ordinances. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I do not stray from your precepts. Your decrees are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end. Amen. Graham will read from Isaiah, reminding us that God is a gardener who sends the rain of his word to produce the fruits of the Holy Spirit 
in our lives. Isaiah 55, 10 to 13. For as the rain and the snow comes down from the heavens and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I pursue and succeed in the things for which I send it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the fawn shall come up the cypress, instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle, and it shall be to the Lord for the memorial, for the everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Jane will read our gospel story, the parable of the sower. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the lake. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there, while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart. This is what was sown on the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while. And when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth choke the word, and it yields nothing. But as for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case, a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. Thanks be to God for this reading. At the start of his ministry, Jesus made his home in Capernaum on Lake Galilee and preached in the synagogues. But the Pharisees rejected him. So Jesus left the synagogues and held a beach mission for the crowds in Matthew chapter 13. He talked about the kingdom of God in a way that those people who reflected on his teaching would grow as learners of God. In today's story, the seed is the word of God and the soil represents our heart. There are four types of heart, an unresponsive heart, an impulsive heart, a preoccupied heart, and a good heart. God is a generous sower, broadcasting lots of seeds. He grow, sows in optimism of a harvest. The hard path is an unresponsive heart, in one ear and out the other, with no understanding. The kind of heart found in the Pharisees who opposed Jesus, and those people who might ridicule and oppose your faith today. The shallow rocky soil is an impulsive heart, full of warm feelings and good intentions, but no staying power lacking the persistence to put down deeper roots. Many in the crowd would have fallen in this category, a day trip out, maybe we'll see a miracle or a healing. 
the soil that has been inadequately prepared to get rid of the weeds is the preoccupied heart. The person has made a commitment but remains unfruitful in God's kingdom because the things of this world are always given priority. Those Christians who are only living for themselves. The good soil is a good heart, a heart that allows God's plan to grow in your life and reach maturity, bearing fruit. Fruit in your personal relationship with God as you grow in understanding and take on his nature. Fruit in good works as you live for others. Fruit in the new disciples that are drawn to Jesus through the witness of your life. It's possible to improve the soil conditions in your garden. Two years ago, I moved house from a hard clay soil that was infested with cooch grass to one that is now sandy and full of stones. Gardening involves pulling the weeds, clearing the stones, breaking up the lumps and watering the plants. You too can improve the conditions of your heart. Your heart is not an immovable object. In the week ahead, take time to reflect on this parable. Perhaps you can think of occasions when you've been unresponsive or impulsive or preoccupied. Do you need to put anything right? How is God's purpose growing in your life today? Are you attracting people to Jesus and bearing fruit for Jesus? Maybe your discipleship journey needs watering by the Holy Spirit. Ask him for the Holy Spirit in your prayers. May God bless you as you move through the week ahead. Amen. Prayers of Intercession Lord God, we pray today for all the people, given the great of spreading your gospel. We pray for the church worldwide, but in particular in the places where people are still persecuted for their beliefs. We pray for our ministers and preachers who prayerfully seek your face and bring us the words and understanding we need to become more faithful followers of you. We pray for the writers and poets as they pour over your word and seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit to bring your message to life on the page. We pray for artists and all craftspeople who draw inspiration from your word and speak to us through their creations. We pray for all people who are going through with the difficult time. May they find strength and peace in you. Lord God, how can we possibly understand what you have to say to us if we don't take time to listen? Help us to carve out moments this week where even in our busyness we can find a quiet corner or even just a glance heavenward to be with you. Speak to us, Lord, and bless us and make us a blessing to others. We ask these in the name of Jesus, our Saviour and Redeemer. Amen. Lord, plant my seed in good ground. Help me to grow in faith so my relationship with you is not shallow and weak, but deep and mature. Teach me to triumph over temptation. Help me to believe in you, even when I do not understand the terrible things which are going on in the world. Lord, I am yours. Take me as I am. Shape me, make me, mould me into the person you would have me to be. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.
thank you for joining us online at City Road Methodist Church, Birmingham. If you'd like to know more about us, go to our website www.cityroad.org.uk or find us on Facebook and Twitter.